the French Bulldog is a breed of dog. Medium-sized, characterized by a large but short muzzle, a flat bifurcated nose, and a wide forked upper lip. Erect ears, wide at the base and rounded at the top. The protruding brow ridges are separated from each other by a deep groove between the eyes. The groove should not continue on the forehead like in English Bulldogs. The occipital protuberance is poorly developed. They can have a wide variety of colors. Brindle, white brindle, fawn, white fawn. The cream color is not recognized by the FCI, European Kennel Federation, and RKF breed standards, but is widespread in America. Typical small dog. A powerful dog in a small form, proportionally stocky, short-haired, with a short muzzle and a flat nose, erect ears and a naturally short tail. The dog must have a cheerful, intelligent appearance, very muscular, compact in structure and with a reliable bone. Weight. 8, 15 kilograms. Height. Balanced with weight. Companion dog, fun dog. He is cheerful and mobile, with a strong psyche, loves children, welcomes guests well, but in case of danger, he is ready to protect the owner and his family. Can be aggressive towards other dogs and cats, but this depends on the temperament of the individual. History of the breed. The French Bulldogs are believed to have been bred from the English Bulldogs and served as small format fighting dogs. But with the help of British lovers of the breed, not interested in dog fights, the French gradually left the line of dogs being pitted against each other. Modern dog handlers indicate among the ancestors of the French Bulldog, the now extinct Spanish Bulldogs Allens, which is indicated in the breed standard. In fact, French Bulldogs are bred in England. And thanks to their compact format, the French were the first to appear among English seamstresses as pets and rat catchers. Then some seamstresses emigrated to France with their favorites, where the Bulldogs are already catching the eye of the French elite. Thus, the French Bulldog becomes a very popular dog in prestigious circles. Only the elite of France could afford this dog. In France, this breed was first registered, where the name French Bulldog was given. However, there are other opinions on this matter. For the first time, French Bulldogs are presented at a dog show at the Westminster Kennel Club in 1896. In America, the French Bulldog is becoming a very expensive dog breed. The dog cost from $250 to $750, which was more than the cost of the popular Ford Model T. In the early 20th century, several dogs were sold for $5,000. Appearance. A medium-sized, well-proportioned and compactly built short-haired dog with a very original appearance and a daring temperament. The characteristic features of the French Bulldog are a large, massive head with a short snout, large erect ears, shaped like those of a bat, and large, intelligent, expressive eyes. The tail is short, with characteristic kinks. Despite its small stature, a strong, from any point of view, short and stocky dog, with a short blunt muzzle, erect ears and a natural short tail. Should give the impression of a lively, lively, very muscular animal with a compact structure and solid bones. The type of will is wire-haired. Coat quality short, thick, dense, shiny and smooth, without undercoat. Colors. Evenly reddish with brindle or fauve, with limited white spotting, brindle or fawn with an average spotting that exceeds the size of the palm spotted, kale, black and white. All shades of fawn are acceptable, from bright red to cappuccino. Completely white dogs are spotted. Basic colors. White with spots and without them, white brindle, white fawn, brindle, fawn, from bright red to coffee with milk, black brindle. Tiger, brindle, frequent blotches of red hair on a black background or black hair on a red one. Small white markings on the chest, throat and a narrow white blaze on the muzzle are allowed. Spotted, pied, on a white background, motley tiger spots, no more than 20%, located on the head, ears, sides, back. Fawn from bright red to coffee with milk, with possible white spots on the chest, neck, belly. On the head of fawn dogs, only a white blaze is allowed to the nose. Spots on the head are a marriage. The fawn color was adopted by the FCI in 1995. Mouse, gray-blue, blue brindle, chocolate, chocolate brindle, tricolor, fawn with a blue mask, Isabella and Merle colors are not the standard, since there have never been such colors in this breed and are judged as a marriage of the breed. A similar color of a bulldog indicates the presence of another breed in any knee of the dog's pedigree. In this case, the pedigree is issued with a mark of the breeding marriage, which blocks access to exhibitions and does not give the right for breeding. In America, innovations are allowed and dogs of such colors are successfully being shown, in Russia such a method is only being introduced, which leads to the disappearance of purebred bulldogs. Hide at Withers 2535cm. Weight female dog. A 12 kg, males. 10, 15 kg. Males are larger, more massive, more courageous. Female dog are somewhat lighter in constitution. The format is slightly stretched, the format index is 103-106. The type of constitution is strong, with elements of dampness. The skeleton is well developed, the musculature is relief. 
The neck is short, slightly less than the length of the head, powerful, muscular, medium set, with a beautiful nape line, widening towards the shoulders, with two symmetrical skin folds on the throat that do not become dulap. The withers are poorly defined. The height at the withers is slightly lower than the height at the rump, due to the low front. The top line rises from the withers to the loin and gently descends to the base of the tail. The back is strong, muscular, slightly arched. The loin is short, strong, muscular, slightly arched. The croup is strong, muscular, moderately sloping, slightly raised. The chest is widely developed, deep, cylindrical in shape, slightly widening from front to back. The ribs are very round. The belly and groin line are slightly tucked up. The head is massive, wide, square in outline. The muzzle is wide, short, upturned. The nostrils are wide open, symmetrical, directed from bottom to top. The bridge of the nose is short, wide, with symmetrical wrinkles dropping down to the upper lip. There is a small skin fold above the nose. The lips are thick, fleshy, vertical in profile and gently rounded. The upper lip hangs down freely, but not enough to protrude beyond the level of the lower jaw. In front, it reaches the lower lip without covering the borders of the lips. The border of the lips is black. The cheekbones are well developed but not prominent. The muscles of the cheeks are well developed and flat. The transition from the forehead to the muzzle is pronounced. The skull is broad almost flat with a very prominent forehead. The occipital protuberance is poorly expressed. The superciliary arches are pronounced, separated by a furrow, especially between the eyes, which does not extend to the forehead. The ears are erect, of medium size, with a wide base, rounded at the ends. Set high, wide and straight. The skin is thin and soft to the touch. The auricular openings are fully visible when viewed from the front. Eyes with lively expression, dark, large, beautifully rounded, slightly protruding, set wide and low. The look is smart, benevolent, sparkling. The eyelids are dry, the edges of the eyelids are black. The whites of the eyes are not visible when looking forward. The teeth are strong and white. The canines are large. Bite under shot. The incisors of the lower jaw are located in one line, although a checkerboard or irregular arrangement of the incisors and canines located vertically is also acceptable. The jaws are wide, powerful, and quadrangular. The angle of the lower jaw is sufficiently open. The nose is wide, very short, and turned up, nostrils well open and symmetrical, directed obliquely back. The tilted nostrils and upturned nose should not obstruct normal breathing. The muzzle is very short and wide, with concentric symmetrical folds that extend down to the upper lip, length. One sixth of the total length of the head. The jaws are wide, square, strong. The lower jaw forms a smooth arc and ends in front of the upper. When the jaws are closed, the protruding lower jaw, undershot, softens due to its bending. This bend is necessary to avoid too much forward extension of the lower jaw. The incisors of the lower jaw cannot stand behind the upper ones. The lower arch of the teeth is rounded. The jaws should not be sideways or crooked. The distance between the arcs of the incisors, retreat, cannot be certain exactly, the main thing is that the upper and lower lips close completely, hiding the teeth. The tail is short, set low on the croup, lying close to the rump, thick at the base, twisted and broken by nature, narrows towards the end. Even in movement, the tail should remain below the level of the base. A relatively long, but not below the hock, and tapering, broken tail is acceptable but not desirable. The forelimbs are strong and well muscled. The shoulders are short, dense, muscular, set obliquely, well mobile. The forearms are short, strong, straight, set strictly upright. The elbows are tightly pressed to the body, directed strictly back. The pasterns and wrists are strong, short and set vertically. The hindquarters, viewed from behind, are straight and parallel to each other. The thighs are dense, wide, with dense relief muscles. The angles of the joints are well defined. Metatarsus and tarsus are short and strong. The hocks are set low. There are no dew claws. Feet are small, round, close together, slightly turned outward. The toes are tight, tight, arched, short, well separated. Nails are short, strong, black. The pads are thick, rough, black. The hind feet are less rounded. Lightening of the nails is acceptable in white and spotted dogs. Temperament. The type of behavior is balanced, mobile. Dogs are brave, quick-witted, friendly to people. Individualists in relationships with other animals can show aggression. Strong enough, with a good reaction rate. They are well-trained, they are happy to interact with a person, they can participate in game sports, agility, sinological freestyle. Maintenance and care. French bulldogs are medium-sized dog breeds. Like any other breed, they require a balanced diet. May be prone to food allergies and require careful dietary management of both commercial and natural foods. French bulldogs are short-haired and require grooming only during shedding periods. The skin fold on the face should be monitored, it should be kept clean and dry to avoid moisture accumulation and dermatitis. They do not tolerate heat well due to the brachycephalic structure of the muzzle. 
At high temperatures, they require additional cooling means, air conditioner, wet towel, cooling blanket. French Bulldogs are also not adapted to the cold and need a warm blanket. Not intended for outdoor or open air housing. French Bulldog. Price and how to buy correctly. The price of a French Bulldog varies depending on its origin, age and gender. French Bulldog puppies cost from 1,000 to 2,000 US dollars. The purest bloodlines can be sold for up to 3,000 US dollars. The monthly budget for caring for the dog will be from 300 to 400 US dollars to meet the needs of the bulldog while choosing a premium diet. When looking for a dog, the question of supply and demand arises. Since the French Bulldog is a fashionable dog, there are many people who do not breed dogs, not because they love them, but because they want to make a quick buck. When buying a puppy, you should look for a serious breeder who can answer all your questions. A competent breeder always gives away puppies only with their pedigree, vaccination record, and after he has dewormed them several times. You should always buy an animal with documents. A competent breeder is the best guarantee to avoid genetic diseases in a bulldog. In most cases, you can visit the puppy several times with a breeder and meet with his parents. Preferred are those breeders who focus on one breed and give the dogs time to rest between births. The breeder should also answer questions about the breed and explain how he cares for his dogs. You can also take an old bulldog from a shelter. Many French bulldogs in shelters are waiting for a new home. This will help determine if the character of the dog suits the potential owner. To do this, you can go for a few walks with the dog and get to know him better before he finally moves to live with the family.